Hello Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. I hope you're all having an amazing day today. I'm going to be taking a look and seeing what's manifesting for you all, what's going on right now in your current situation with you, the person on your mind, if any, and what you need to know at this moment. So whenever you do see this will be the right time. But as always, take what resonates, leave out the rest, practice using your own discernment. And if you're interested in a personal reading done by myself or my sponsor, all of that information will be left in the description box below for you all. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all social media, TikTok, Instagram. I am Spiritually Goldie on all platforms. Wow, Virgo, you have a lot of choices coming in. A lot of different options that you could choose from. And I'm seeing a sandcastle and I'm picking up on somebody who has freckles. Someone sporty as well. I'm seeing a flamingo and I'm picking up on tie-dye, something tie-dye. So it looks like somebody's interested, or you have a few people actually who are interested in courting you, wanting to date you, wanting to get to know you, Virgo. You got a lot, a lot of different choices. Um, and you may be feeling pulled in different directions. You may get into this space of like what like who's who's actually serious who's being real with me who's serious with their intentions because out of all of these options i mean we do have like a snake coming out of one of them so someone could possibly not be honest but you definitely have someone here with this high honor who is actually wanting to make a commitment wanting to take things to that next level and is serious about taking things to that next level so things are changing I'm seeing you're going through a huge uh, death and rebirth period, a huge transformation where things are never going to be the same. You're not going to be the same. A part of like your old self is is dying and you're becoming this new butterfly version of you. So you may look, be looking at a situation like things are over and done with, with the past and you're, and I'm seeing that because of that, you're opening a new door of new possibilities. Little do you know, it's it's more than one door of possibilities. <laughs> you have like seven different doors or seven different people even. Whatever it is, you got you got options coming in. I'm seeing that, yeah, people are going to be wanting to fight for you. People are coming in like ready to fight, ready to compete. And I see you... I see that you have these options, right? And some of them I see you either rejecting or you're just not really sure if you can take it, them too seriously. So it feels like you're kind of in this inner battle of who who to take serious or who not to take serious. Somebody has been kind of waiting for you. It looks like you're you're somebody this person has been waiting for or hoping for. And I see that you are looking back. It looks like there's somebody who you may already know, who you may have rejected before. Now you're starting to look at this person in a different light. Starting to reconsider maybe giving this person a chance. But I do see that you're, you're fighting. Um, it feels like you're kind of fighting your inner demons in a way. When it comes to opening up again. Also, it feels like you you're you may be looking at like failed relationships or failed situations that have failed. And so this may be putting you off for some of you when it comes to these options. And so it's kind of like an inner battle, is what I'm seeing mostly. Uh, it does look like you're going to go within. So you're going to get some sort of sign or guidance with that hermit. Uh, taking time alone, taking time to really uh, 
like think about what you want what you really want so this is like your spiritual awakening you're going through a spiritual awakening here where you're looking at things from a different perspective someone is rushing towards you and i'm seeing that this person wants there to be change so this person has been like waiting for for you to give them a chance so you may have some sort of court issue or i'm seeing with this courthouse legal papers um legal matters coming in or a situation that in regards to a house so courthouse i'm seeing literally like a house a courthouse or like a government building that i see you going to um, it feels like you are going to get some sort of message, a message that has been concerning you or something that you've been like, that's been on your mind. So it feels like your mind is, is kind of somewhere else trying to, trying to kind of find a solution. So oh, with the pathway, there's a solution coming in. So there is a light at the end of the tunnel. With this pathway it feels like you're in this space of kind of going on this path alone but there's a light at the end of the tunnel so you are going to see a sign that things are getting better i'm i'm seeing that things kind of like working out for it for you in your favor different possibilities a decision being made so i definitely pick up that you may be feeling a little bit lost at this moment through this spiritual awakening and lost on like what what different option to 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 choose from because you're being presented with different options and this could also be in regards to in regards to um like legal matters but you're letting go of control and you're just allowing things to be i see you really working on yourself building your life build, uh, and also working together with others, collaborating with others, working things out here, wanting to work things out and wanting to basically, I'm seeing you holding back from, from someone or holding back from reaching out to someone. For some of you, you may have ghosted this person around you yeah, holding back because you're not ready to make a commitment just yet. So somebody has been thinking about you. You've been on this person's mind with that Four of Swords. They've been in this little like nest curled up and just thinking about wanting to invest into you or wanting to continue to allow this situation with you to grow so they look at this situation like there's something good that can come out of this with that tree growing out of the ground, but there's more work to be done. I'm seeing with this seven and four, it's like, I feel like there's some sort of uh, break like or space. You may have asked for space. You two are both maybe taking time for yourselves to focus on, on different things. But they do want to continue this. They're starting to look back at this situation with you. They're looking back at the good times. And they see you as right now being indecisive or, or like you've come to a stop. So they're definitely looking at you like right now. You possibly don't know what you want or you've ghosted them or you're just completely silent right now. So it's... Your, your silence is speaking loud to this person, but they feel like things have kind of come to a stop with you. But their intentions is on a long-term partnership, long-term happiness with that 10 of cups. I'm seeing that they 
they, the actions that they do want to take is with this Three of Cups. They want to come together with you and they want to work towards something long term, a long term relationship, like doing life with each other, being with each other for decades. So they're serious about a commitment, but they see you as um, not making a choice. Maybe you have other, again, you have other options, other choices. So they see you as um, not being sure on what you want right now or whether or not you want this person could be a capricorn virgo or a taurus so toil and labor it feels like this person wants to put in the work with you they're willing to put in the work even if they're getting little from you right now <laughs> because they they see this as a long game with you i'm seeing unexpected income i see you receiving unexpected income that you've been waiting for right i'm seeing that this person right now also they they may be still like building their their life so poverty and that toil and, and toil and labor this person may be doing something that requires a lot of labor and possibly little pay so they're still kind of building a life for themselves and you're probably just like hmm can this person um, is this person really ready for a relationship? Wow. But I see sudden wealth. This is somebody who has the potential to really make a lot of money in the future. So with the high priestess moving forward, you're going to listen to your intuition. And I see you knowing um, it, it, you're going to know who's right for you and what's the right choice for you. Knowing a lot, but saying little. Observing people, observing their actions. I'm seeing that somebody who's been thinking about you this person has been thinking about you. They're coming around Six of Cups to um, work things out, make a truce, or make some sort of like gesture with that dog. It feels like somebody is coming around to offer you their loyalty and support. And this could also be a friendship that you like, a friend that you haven't seen in a while that's been thinking about you, who's coming back around. But you're going to come out of this hermit, this spiritual awakening, stronger than before and more intuitive than before. You had to go through this death and rebirth. You had to go through this, this um, process of kind of going within and maybe even kind of laying low for, for a bit. Because you're growing into a new version of yourself where I see you being very intuitive. Your psychic abilities increasing. Your, your strength increasing and so life is going to get easier for you um, after this death and rebirth and hermit hermit uh, mode you're in things are going are gonna to work out for you you're going to see a lot of growth in your life and I see somebody who's going to come in and, and want to work with you collaborate with you build something with you but you're going to have a lot of choices to choose from you're going to be at this place where you're not going to be sure on like who, who you really want, but you will know, you'll know. I see you're going to be doing a lot of reflecting, but you're coming together with someone that you've, that you already have some, some history with you and this person have a history. This isn't an ex or anything like that. But it's someone you have a history with, someone that you know. You're going to intuitively know, intuitively know who this person is. Um, this could be someone you've been thinking about and they've been thinking about you too. So, what else? Yeah, I'm seeing that somebody's been kind of waiting, I'm seeing waiting, waiting for you to also 
uh, make a decision. Expect, expect someone to be thinking about you as well. And you're going to know intuitively when they're thinking about you. You may, they may pop up in your head. There's going to be a message though. So message of concern, somebody who is is concerned over you or concerned over your silence they're gonna end up communicating with you <gasps> lovers but you're you're gonna you may be blindsided by this you're, you're not gonna see this person like coming in because i feel like they're going to drop some sort of bomb on you like they want to be lovers with you and they want to take things to the next level with you so it, it may catch you by surprise but this person has been thinking about like deepening a relationship with you. I'm seeing the numbers 13, 7, 9, 2, 7, 7, 7 is here. You have 4, 38, 23, 16, 25. And the letters D, R, P, H, C, U, I, K. So those numbers could be birthdays, the letters could be either in your name or someone else's name. But with that said, this is what I'm picking up. This is what I'm seeing. If it did resonate, let me know. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have an amazing and blessed rest of your day. Bye.